want you more than my name. I want to float on downstream. Go and find my Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. We have a ton of cleaning motivation in this Clean With Me today, but we are also going to be doing some crafting with my Cricut Explore Air 2 and Cricut Easy Press. I cannot wait to share with you, but we'll get to that more later on in this video. We are going to jump right into tons of cleaning motivation, so I hope that you guys are ready for it. We are going to be cleaning up bedrooms. We are going to be cleaning up downstairs. We have so much to get done, and I hope that this video brings you so much motivation. I am so excited to have you guys all here for this video today. We are going to kick everything off downstairs. We are going to tackle all of the things today. I have to clean up this kitchen. I need to clean up the living room. I need to clean up the bedrooms, and I cannot wait to bring you guys with me. So if you are ready for some cleaning motivation, give this video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here on my channel, I would love nothing more than for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join me every week for cleaning motivation. Don't break my heart, just break free. Just let me see your bad streaks. Maybe they'll match my freaks, yeah. I'd kill to see the stars cry. Roam in the dark while love hides. Let the world know you're mine, oh. Ups and downs, no in between. Fire and ice, burn gasoline. You know I love it. You know I love it. Love and hate, romantic sin. Fire and ice, gone with the wind. You know I love it. I'm going to use Thieves Cleaner to wipe everything down in here today. We are going to tackle all the dishes and just really get this kitchen nice and tidied up because it has been a little bit of a mess, so we're gonna take care of all of that. But how are you guys doing today? I hope that you are having a super fantastic day. Let me know down below in the comments where you are watching from today or what time it is that you are watching this video and come say hi in the comments. are going to get the dishwasher running and I'm going to be using the Cascade Complete and then I'm also going to be using the Jet Dry Rinse Aid in my dishwasher as well and get this going. And I always run my dishes on a sanitary cycle, want to make sure they're super nice and clean. So we're going to get this going and then tackle the rest of the kitchen. Let's move on to tidying up the living room and getting everything in here picked up as well. It needs to be picked up. It's not totally messy though, so that is a win in my book. It's not a complete disaster today, so we're just going to pick everything up, wipe everything down in here, and take care of all the stuff in the living room.
I rave about this vacuum all of the time. It works so, so well, but the one downside to it is it does not stand up on its own. And I propped it up, it fell over, and literally all of the contents spilled out of it because I didn't empty it before starting to vacuum. So it was extremely full. It just exploded open and got everywhere. So we are going to clean all of this up, vacuum all of that up again, and then I emptied it after that because I was like, uh-uh. This is not going to happen to me again where I just finished vacuuming and then I have to do it again. But the Shark Rocket vacuum is really great. It has really great suction power and I really do love it. The only downside is that it does not stand up on its own. But I guess that kind of just comes with the territory with a stick vacuum, I think. Maybe. I'm not really sure. But it does work well. So if you are looking for a vacuum that does the job, this is the one for you. And it's always linked down below in my Amazon storefront. Uh, vacuumed everything up and now it's time to mop the floors and I'm going to be using some powdered Tide laundry detergent it has to be the powdered Tide to do it this way and I use about a teaspoon put it in some super hot water in my O Cedar easy ring mop bucket and it works like a charm you can use this on your baseboards as well you can even use it on your walls and your doors and your door jams to get those all cleaned up it is a great surfactant and it built breaks down all of the built up stuff on your floors, your walls, your doors, your baseboards. It's really, really great. You can also add a splash of bleach to the water. You don't want to add too much because it will make your floors streaky, but you can also add a little bit of bleach if you want a little bit higher disinfecting powder. Um, honestly, it works really super well. I got this tip from Go Clean Co. She has super amazing tips on Instagram, million plus followers on there. So, She's doing something right in the cleaning department. I am going to mop up the floors with my little helper here. She's going to supervise, help me, and make sure we're getting everything all done.
are going to move on to cleaning stuff up upstairs. This cleaning video is going to be broken up into two days of cleaning because I just didn't get everything done because mom life, had to do dinner, all the things. So we're going to straighten up the loft, pick up all the fuzz because my puppy got into some stuffed animals. And we are going to tidy this area up as well as my son's room too. There's fuzz and junk all over the floor in here. Laundry that needs to be taken care of. So we're going to get everything picked up off the floor, straighten up the books, vacuum, and get it all done up here. So at the beginning of the video, I had mentioned that I am going to be doing some crafting with my Cricut. You guys loved that when I did my pantry organization video, so we're going to be doing some more today. I am going to be making a couple of Father's Day things, as well as a little bit of summer decor kind of stuff that can be used year-round, though. And these Father's Day gifts you can do for literally anyone. It does not have to just be for Father's Day. I'm just making them for Father's Day because, well, it was coming up, so we had to make some stuff. I'm going to be using my Cricut Explore Air 2, and I'm also going to be using my Cricut Easy Press. We are going to make some coasters today, and then we are also going to make a wine bag to give my husband some of his favorite beer in the wine bag. And I'm going to be using the Cricut Infusible Ink Markers today. I'm going to have my kids decorate some coasters for him to use by his computer, his gaming station, and I'm just using copy paper and the infusible ink markers today. I would recommend using the laser printer paper versus the regular copy paper because it transfers just a little bit better, but the copy paper does work and it's cheaper. And I'm also going to be making some coasters for downstairs in my living room and I'm going to be using the Cricut Infusible Ink Transfer Sheets in a geometric pattern. I will have everything that I can find linked down below in the description box so you don't have to look too far. It will all be linked down below. You guys, I am obsessed with my Cricut Explore Air 2 and I am also obsessed with the Easy Press. This is my first time using the Easy Press today and oh my gosh. It is super easy. Its name does not fool you. It is so easy to do and you can find all of the guides online for the heat and everything for whatever material you are using. So like I said, I am going to be using the Cricut Blinks, the coasters today, and I'm going to be making some coasters for my house. I do have the heat mat for the Easy Press, and then I'm going to put a piece of cardstock down. Then you're just going to want to take your infusible ink transfer sheet and put it like so and do it upside down and then put a butcher paper on top of your project 
The butcher paper comes in the infusible ink transfer sheets. So whenever you buy infusible ink transfer sheets from Cricut, you have your butcher paper that you're going to need for every project in there. And then you can find the heat guide online telling you exactly what temperature to set everything to. I'm also going to be doing some stuff in design space too. I wanted to do a few of the coasters just plain and then a couple of them I'm going to take the black infusible ink transfer sheets and add cheers to the coasters. So I'm just going to go into design space and it's super, super easy to use. I am going to take this plastic cover off of my grip mat. Don't be like me and forget that there is the plastic cover on there. <laughs> I had no clue and I had to YouTube so many videos to figure out how to use the grip mat. So don't be like me the first time I used my Cricut. Make sure that you pull that plastic film off so that you can actually put your product on there and have it grip. But Design Space is super easy. Whenever you're using the infusible ink, make sure that you have your item mirrored in there. There's a little space on the left hand of the screen and it says mirror on and then you can choose whichever material you are using. I chose infusible ink because that is what I'm using. So we're going to have these cut with the Cricut they're going to say cheers and we are going to transfer them to the coasters. So with the infusible ink, you're not going to want to take that plastic backing off. I am also going to use the pattern stuff on there. So I'm just going to cut this out, the geometric pattern infusible ink transfer sheet. However, I am not going to put those on there together because I couldn't figure out how to do it and double layer it. So I'm just going to take the cheers piece, put it on the coaster, have that pressed onto there and then go back in with the geometric pattern and put that on there whatever pattern that I choose I did do two blanks well two with just geometric pattern on there and then two with the cheers and I'm going to show you how I just did that so I took the cheers and I just put it on there and then I made sure that it was on there really really well and then I took it over with the easy press and just use the easy press to transfer it onto the coaster itself. So while the coaster is being pressed, we are going to make that wine bag that I was talking about and I'm just going to be using some gray infusible ink. I'm going back in to design space to figure out what I want to do and I just chose something super simple to put on there. Best dad ever because, you know, my husband is the best dad ever to my little babies. And then I just made sure that I did the mirror on like I had mentioned before. I set it to infusible ink materials and then on my actual Explorer Air 2 I'm using the custom setting on the dial over here on the screen. You can see that big huge dial on the Explorer Air 2. So I just set that to the custom and then I choose my material in Design Space. Now you can use Design Space in an app. You can do Design Space on your Mac computers for iOS or you can use it on a Windows. I had some people commenting on my last video saying that they didn't even know you could use Design Space in Windows and you most definitely can. I have a Dell computer. I do not have an Apple computer. I have a PC. So I'm going to put butcher paper inside of the wine bag. You do this with t-shirts as well to make sure that it doesn't bleed through and transfer to the back of the shirt, wine bag, whatever you're doing. And then I'm just going to lay my piece on there, my infusible ink piece. I put butcher paper on the top of that and then I'm just going to have it on the proper heat settings for whatever it is that I am doing. And then voila, you have this perfect wine bag that you can use for whoever, whatever. It does not have to say best dad ever. It could literally say anything you want. Design Space has a ton of options. And this is what we ended up making for my husband. The kids' little coasters over there on the left, they drew on the copy paper and I transferred it to the coasters. 
And then I made the coasters in the middle. This is how they turned out. I had the two geometric patterns just plain by themselves and then two other geometric patterns that say cheers on them. I actually just like the ones that are plain that don't say cheers on them, but that's just me. I love black and white stuff, as you guys know if you've been subscribed to my channel or following me for a while. And then the wine bag turned out pretty good. I didn't put enough pressure on the one side so it didn't completely transfer, but it's fine. It looks a little rustic, aged. It's perfect. So all of these things we are going to be giving to my husband for Father's Day, but like I said, you could literally do them for anybody. And then the coasters will be used all year round. They are our summer decor item that I'm adding to the living room, but you could use them all year round, like I said. So now that we are done crafting, let's clean up the mess because you guys know I always make a mess whenever I'm decluttering or crafting and this is no different. The kitchen and dining area have been cleaned up yet again. So let's move on to cleaning up upstairs in my bedroom because my bedroom is such a hot mess, you guys. I'm kind of embarrassed to show it to you, but you know, we're here for the cleaning motivation. So we're just gonna go for it. And I am gonna show you because, oh my gosh, we're gonna take care of it today. It needs it, the bed needs to be made. So much laundry needs to be put away. So many things need to be dusted and we are gonna vacuum up as well because this is not, this is not it. This is not how it should look at all. Let's take care of it.
but you call me on my sins You think that you're under my skin I just wanna wake up in my bed alone Oh no, I don't wanna be tucked in someone else's arms I will close my door cause I need my time Wanna speak so loud even though I hide like I'm hypnotized, can't get out of here You don't know me, I just need my time Yeah But they say Now that my room is tidied up, cleaned up, laundry's been put away, it's been dusted, it looks so much better. I hope that this video has given you guys a ton of motivation, maybe some crafting ideas as well. All of the Cricut stuff will be linked down below in my description box. You can get your own Cricut machine. I am obsessed with mine. You can do so many things with it, you guys. If you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. There are so many different machines, but I do have the Explore Air 2, and I am in love with it. But I hope that today's video has given you a ton of motivation. Thank you guys so much for being here and so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me, and I would love nothing more than for you to stick around and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Check out some other cleaning motivation on my channel while you are here, and I hope that you have an amazing day, and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you again for watching.